The PR consultant Max Clifford has pleaded not guilty to 11 charges of indecent assault against teenage girls over a 19-year period. As Jane Dodge now reports, he says he's totally innocent of the allegations and a warning, her report does contain flash photography from the start. He told them he'd pose for them, but this time Max Clifford's attempts to tell journalists what to do didn't work. Heckled by a member of the public, the short walk from curbside to courtroom turned into a rough and ready media scrum. As the police shouted for order, Max Clifford seemed to disappear from view, just a shock of white hair in a sea of helmets and cameras. It looked as though it was all too much for his wife. And in the frenzy of it all, the man who spent the last five decades promoting the rich and famous was now speaking up for himself. As security guards wrestled with photographers, Max Clifford finally made it to his first court appearance since being charged last month. Max Clifford stood up in the dock to give his name and address. The 11 charges were then read out one by one. Speaking in a quiet and calm voice, he replied not guilty to each one. He's charged with indecently assaulting seven teenage girls over two decades, from 1966 to 1985. The youngest alleged victim was 14, the oldest 19. The publicist was arrested last December as part of Operation Yew Tree, the inquiry triggered by allegations of abuse against Jimmy Savile. The charges against him aren't connected to Savile himself. Freddie Starr, Gary Glitter and Dave Lee Travis have also been arrested and questioned. Speaking before his arrest, Max Clifford had questioned the direction of that inquiry. There's so much fear and concern out there. This whole thing is developing into a huge witch hunt. There was another pose for the cameras as Mr Clifford and his wife left court. He told journalists the last few months had been a nightmare. And it's far from over. Max Clifford is likely to get a similar reception when he appears at Crown Court next month.